curious to how I got in this mess? So am I. Just a day ago, I was working in that store for my uncle. Or... At least I think he's my uncle. Anyway, his name's Joey. He's a schmuck. He's the type of guy that doesn't let you buy something if you're a penny short. He also runs a small bookie in the store called Kneecaps. It was called Kneecaps because that was the first to go if you didn't pay Uncle Joey. And then there's Marv, my not-so-smart janitor cousin. He's, uh... Well, he's just something. Don't get me wrong, he tries hard and talks the talk, but there's not much going on up there. Marv and I? We're going to rob Uncle Joey. How's it going, Frank? It's all right, Marv. Just working, like usual. Yeah, that's good, cuz. How's the mopping business going? Well, you know, I clean stuff. It's all right. Yeah, I'm sure it is. What do you want, Marv? I know you didn't come here just to say hello. Well, about that. Are you busy later? I have this idea you might be interested in. There's money involved. Yeah, sure, Marv. I'll, I'll talk to you about it later, okay? Now just get out of here. Okay, I'm leaving. Frankie! Was that your stupid cousin that was just in here? Don't worry about it. Do I look like I'm worried about it? I was just wondering if you're still wasting time on the clock. Frankie. Look at me. Look at me! Let me go, Uncle Joey. Listen. I don't know what you and your little boyfriend were talking about, but do it on your own time. Remember, I own you and your janitor cousin. Yeah, a schmuck. Relax. Get back to the window. We got a game on tonight. We got to take some bets. So what's the plan? Remember when we stole Noah Zelezny's money in the fourth grade? Who? The kid that ratted on us all the time. Oh, yeah. That little rat that made even you look smart. What about him? Do you remember how much we got in that heist? I don't know. Maybe like ten bucks. Do you remember how we got away with it? If I recall, you distracted him on the playground while I broke into his locker, right? Well, you and every other kid wanted to sock him in the face, right? But did you? No. We never needed to because stealing his money was reason not to keep him around. And we never got caught. <laughs> exactly! We took something from someone we hated and we didn't get caught. Look, what is the point of all this, Marv? You said this plan involved making money. A heist. A heist. I've planned a two-man job. A bookie. Wait, 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 which bookie? Kneecaps! At this point, I thought he was nuts. I mean, here's a guy that cleans floors day in and day out, wanting to rob Uncle Joey blind. Rob a cold-hearted criminal. So what do you think? I think you've mopped one too many floors, Marv. That's exactly why we need to do this. These jobs of ours... <laughs> for the birds. Yeah, but those birds don't lose their heads. We could make a hundred grand in a day's work. It'd be just like old times. Actually, it would be nothing like old times, Marv, because that kid, he wasn't a homicidal maniac gangster who used to break people's kneecaps just for the fun of it, and who knows everything there is to know about us. God, I would really like to stick it to Uncle Joey, though. Oh, we could do anything with that kind of money. Anything you can think of. I could... I could get a pool, smoke cigars, Respect. I could finally get some respect. Jesus Christ, you know that's slacking around here. Wait. How would you crack the lock? Come over here! Behold! Marv, that's a blueprint of the store. Yes, yes it is. We're in the store, Marv. Planning is essential, Frank. I guess that makes sense. At this point, everything seemed pretty basic. One safe, an empty store, and thousands of dollars soon to be ours. 
What could I say? The kid did his homework. So, now that we have the plans, we know what the store looks like. What's going on in here? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. We're just, uh, talking about the game tonight. Blueskins are gonna kill it. Oh, really? Yeah. I bet against them. Rumor has it Uncle Joey had a man killed for disrespecting his team the night the Cobras lost the championship. Marv has no idea what he's talking about. Obviously the Cobras are gonna win tonight, right Marv? Yeah, of course. Alright then, I don't want to hear another word out of you two. That was close. Well, as I was saying, you're going to go to Joey's safe. Yeah, about that, how did you get the combination? Irrelevant, Frank. While you're entering the combination, you're I... going to get Uncle Joey out of here by, uh, telling him that you found a new heavy hitter client that wants to place a serious bet. And he'll be extra stressed out about it, because Thursday's the big game. There's gonna be bets going into that safe left and right. <laughs> the more goodies, the better, right? Goodies? Marv, you gotta be kidding me. Please. How are we gonna pull this off? You're gonna be waiting in the diner for my call. Once I meet Uncle Joey in the park at six o'clock, I'll tell him there's a heavy hitter in town looking to make a big bet on today's game. Where's the guy, Marv? He's on his way. Any minute now. You're not trying to waste my time, are you, Marv? Because I don't know if you know how important my time is to me. No, I'm not trying to waste your time. How important is my time, Marv? Just wait a minute, all right? Then I'm going to call you with the go-ahead before Uncle Joey comes back from the park. You better not screw this up, Marv. I know how things seem to fall apart around you. Marv, it's time. Come on. Can you believe Frank would try to double cross me like this? I can tell you one thing, he's not gonna make it out of this one alive. I'll make sure of it. You're not gonna do a goddamn thing, Jimmy. You know why? You know why? I'm getting the feeling I know. Yeah, you do. He's in deep water now. Shit. Hey, Frank. You enjoying the last few minutes of your life? Uncle Joy, I can explain. It's not what you think. I swear. You know, it's... It, it, it's funny. After all that I've done for you and that pathetic family of yours, Go and do something like this. Just let me explain the book. I, 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 I don't know what to say. Jimmy, go and get this pain in the ass and bring me my money. You're gonna lose more than your kneecaps. As you can see, things aren't looking too good. A bag full of old newspapers and a psychotic bookie dealer trying to kill me. This is what it came down to. It turned out old Marv had a plan of his own. Remember the meeting in the park? Apparently, Marv met with Uncle Joey earlier than we planned. Listen, he'll be here any minute, but I have to go. I have some work I need to finish. Fine, Marv. Just get out of here. And then he left to call that sap the diner. Marv? Some kid was paid ten bucks, walked up to Uncle Joey and gave him a note. A note saying that I was robbing his bookie. That's right, Uncle Joey now knew I was going to be there. But what about the money you're probably wondering? Well, hold on, I'm getting there. And where was Marv? 
He had the whole bookie to himself for about 40 minutes. I don't know how he did it. Somewhere between the time he left the park and the time I was waiting for his call, a heist within a heist. Get down on the ground! I want my money, Frank! Look, it was Marv! He th I don't Drop your weapon and get down on the ground! Are you over? Are you trying to take what's mine? What are you fucking crazy? Do you have any idea what you got you Don't do what I say, I will use deadly force! You took what's mine, you are gonna hit the ground cold! Get down now! I'm just trying to get the story straight. I don't know where he is. Uh, do you think he's starting a new bookies? Like your uncle? Is he dangerous? Is he a threat to other civilians? If you could guess, what would it be right now? <laughs>